My goal is to land a air. So you know what's funny is you have wax. <laughs> Scientists did a study that um, purple surfboards actually work better than most surfboards. Yeah, board's good. Hear it speaking to me. Okay, 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 good. This is maybe my 50th session out at Rocky Point this past week and a half. All I've been doing is surfing out here. And today, I have a goal of the session today, or of the entire day surfing. My goal is to land a air on this little board. It's a 5.4 Gremlin Pizel. Shout out Weed Maps, Quicksilver, you know what it is. Um, Pizel, 27 liters, 2.35 inches thick. Oh, I can't even see that. 17.38 inches wide. Little Gremlin. A little tail. My goal is to land in air. And if I don't and I get frustrated, I'm gonna come in, grab a different surfboard, I'm gonna go out there and do some big turns. And then surf all day. It's gonna be a good day either way. I just really wanna land in air, so. I really appreciate everyone subscribing to the channel and liking the videos, it really helps. So if you guys could subscribe and like this video, it's much appreciated. I love you all. It is because of you guys that I get to do what I love to do. I don't have to do contests. I can travel to beautiful places and sit right here at home and surf my normal life. Thanks to you guys. So please like and subscribe. I love you. Session from start to finish. I did not land one air. I had fun. I couldn't get a good wave in the start, but I slowly started getting a couple turns, floaters. I don't know, it was a good time. I'm gonna go up, rest. That was about two and a half hours. It's really funny how you guys see just like seven or eight waves back to back, and it seems like a quick session, but really those eight waves took like two hours to get like usable clips maybe we'll show you every way from the session so you guys can understand and we'll point out the ones that we would use for an edit and put it into an edit so we're going out for round two today I'm feeling very very sunburnt earlier I had the gremlin and it's picked up a little bit that session didn't go as planned actually but I got the 510 shadow and this board works really well we're gonna go out there and catch a couple waves before dark. I don't think I'm gonna commit my whole session to doing airs again. So I think I'm just gonna go out there and try to complete a few waves. And tomorrow and the next day should be pretty fun and we'll try to surf somewhere besides Rocky Point. Although it's hard to leave because it's so fun. I'm going up to everyone that's good at airs out there and just asking them what I should do. Baron earlier told me, he's like, so what you gotta do is you gotta get a lot of speed, hit the section, and commit, and look where you're going. It's that easy, I guess, for them. 
if the section presents itself, I will try, and if not, I will do a turn. And then another turn, and another turn, and another turn. Oh my god, look at this section. Film this, zoom lens, zoom lens. Look at that. Boom! Okay, I'm out there. Ready? Ready. Good. My name is Cody Rothman. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. It was a great end to a great day. It was nice to get some low waves before nighttime, and now all we gotta do is wake up and see what tomorrow brings. We'll find somewhere to surf, adventure, surf all day, sunburn. I will right, we'll see you in the morning. So we just woke up. We're about to drive around checking the waves. Almost finished my coffee, so I'm feeling much better. It's a little odd right now. It's dead winds, but it's not good winds. I don't know how to explain this. The ocean is like, it's almost like it blew onshore all night and then the winds just died. So it's got this weird onshore chop, but no onshore wind. And it's bigger than yesterday, but not as good. So it's interesting swell we have here, I think the morning sickness will go away and it'll probably get better. But as of right now, I need gas. We're gonna, we're gonna go check sunset and then we'll probably go surf Rockies again. For some reason, Rockies is always just consistently the best spot when it's this size and funky conditions. So over here in Hawaii, ew, there's gum. Wax, wax, whatever. So over here in Hawaii, there's no thing that you can ha you can stop this, so every time you let it go, it just stops. But if you put your gas cap in here, voila, I'm a genius. I know, it's crazy. Okay, so we're looking at sunset right now, and it's not that good. It's like not big enough for like big sunset, and it's not small enough for sunset point. So I think what we're gonna do is go back to Rockies as I suspected when I woke up. I'm gonna go try to do an error again. Like I failed miserably yesterday. But you know what? I don't care, I had a great time. Sunrise, yeah. Bunch of tourists just looking at me straight. Oh, I have a question for you guys. So I'm gonna make a few different colors of these flame boards. I was thinking like blue flames, but let me know what color you guys wanna see on my next boards coming top comment. If you comment the color you want to see on my surfboards, it might be picked. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. The wind definitely came up on shore. So it happens when you wait too long or you sleep in for too long. All right, I'll see you guys out there. Almost did a couple errors. I just couldn't 
Get him. I gotta go back and watch the clips right now. I need to learn exactly what I'm doing wrong. What I have to be doing. Baron and them were giving me tips again, so. I still have fun. Let's go. I wanna go watch the clips. Okay. Just going through some footage to find out why I keep falling on these airs. Float climb. I did one and rode it out on my butt pretty spectacularly. I think this is it. Oh, yep. Why did I fall? Let's find out. I feel like I hit it perfectly. Like, spun it perfectly. I went to land. I feel like I gave up right here, it looks like. Why did I do that? But then I recover. Oh, my board spins back the other way. That's why I start going forward. I recover pretty perfectly though. <laughs> Do I count that as a make? <laughs> I think I'm going to count that. almost better I didn't land it. That was much more exciting. I see Baron was trying to explain to me what was going on with the errors and I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> I was just observing everyone who was good at errors out there. Baron and Josh, I even landed a couple alley-oops. I just went kind of out the back and he's like, you have to hit it later. So I should have been bottom turning like right now and then hitting it because it would have shot me this way more into the flats instead of out like that what happened there I'm giving up again I didn't even know I was out the back and I'm still giving up I think I have to just commit more now that I've studied I know what I need to do to do an air <laughs> we'll keep trying until I land one me and Paisel are going out for a contest to see who can do an air first I'm sure it's just gonna be about backside snaps today for me. <laughs> After some careful analyzation of the footage, I think it's time that I go out there and attempt some errors. So, here we go again. I think what I was doing wrong was I wasn't over my surfboard enough and I didn't commit all the way through until the end. So, all I'm gonna think about is weight over the surfboard instead of far away from it and just committing to fully landing it and that's all I'm going to work on today and a couple turns here and there so stay tuned people thanks for watching like and subscribe Reset button and restart my day.